Hey guys, how's it going? It's Janie over here at Janie Sweets. Welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I am coming at you with a super simple, easy Valentine's Day dessert. You will not believe how incredibly easy this is to make. So let's get started. Now, before we get into the video, I do want to tell you guys that I made this video in collaborations with Rosie over at Rosie's Dessert Spot. So definitely take a minute to check out her video that I'm going to link for you guys in the description box below you will not regret it so let's get started like I told you you really need very few ingredients I actually am using some leftover cupcakes that I had from an order and some strawberries you are going to need quite a few strawberries so I recommend you buy two packs just to be on the safe side um, I'm just going to cut them up in lengthwise so just cut off the top and then cut um, cut the strawberries standing up I did not really count how many I used here, so just use your better judgment and get the appropriate amount. In the meantime, I am going to use this Sonic Strawberry Shake. I bought this um, at um, my local supermarket and it is an instant pudding. Um, so I'm just going to follow the instructions right on the box. So it says to dump the packaging into a stand mixer and then add to that two cups of cold milk, which is what I'm doing, and then mix it on low for two minutes, then pop it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. So that's exactly what I did. I followed the instructions and it turned out fine. In the meantime, while it is setting in the refrigerator, I have here my chocolate cupcakes. You can use whatever uh, flavor cupcakes that you prefer. However, I wanted to go for a strawberry and chocolate since this, this is a Valentine's Day theme. Um, so cut up your cupcakes right in half and then pop them right at the bottom in a single layer. Now I'm using some heavy whipping cream. You can find that in your grocery store. It's just a heavy fat cream and I'm going to whip it until it's that consistency with my stand mixer. Then I'm going to stop and continue by hand. I like to get it to the desired consistency by hand because you would not believe how extremely easy it is to over whip this and then you've just made butter. So once you've over whipped it, there's no turning back. So you definitely want to continue the process by hand or really, really keep an eye on your mixer. Now once it was thick enough that it wasn't falling off of my whisk, I knew that I was ready to use it. So I'm just going to pop it to the side and grab my strawberry pudding mix. Now I'm just going to layer it on top of my chocolate cupcakes and then using my spatula I'm going to spread it and trying to make um, the pudding fall in between the grooves. And then I'm going to add a generous amount of strawberry right at the top. I'm using the prettier strawberries at the on the outside and then the more dingy ones or more, you know, the small ones like the butt ends um, can go on the insides because nobody's going to really see that. You do want the outside to look as pretty as possible. So definitely layer it up as much as you can. It'll look prettier that way. Now using a piping bag with a Wilton 1M tip, I'm going to pipe just some dollops of icing on the outside. Um, and this is my whipped cream icing, by the way. And then I'm going to layer on the top a um, generous amount of um, chocolate cupcakes again. And then I'm gonna repeat the process with my strawberry pudding and then my strawberries at the top. Now you wanna make sure that this layer of cupcakes you do not squish down because you don't want the uh, whipped cream that you made at the bottom to look squished. You do want it to look full and thick. So um, layer on your strawberries at the top and then start over with your whipped cream in your piping bag. Now I'm going to put two layers of whipped cream because this is the top and I wanted it to look a little bit more full and also I had extra whipped cream. So. No need to waste it. <laughs> now the last step is to garnish it. I have here one really nice looking strawberry. I'm just gonna score it um, halfway through and then fan it out. And then I'm going to add it right to the top in the middle. And then I have three extra strawberries that I'm going to cut the same exact way that I did um, the other ones. 
Now I'm only going to reserve the middle parts and then the end parts I'm just gonna eat. <laughs> so I placed um, eight of these um, strawberries right at the corner just for garnish and that is it you guys that is how I made this simple dessert I told you guys that it was foolproof and literally you needed what three ingredients you needed the cupcakes you needed the strawberries you needed the whipped cream oh well four ingredients and you also needed the um, strawberry putting in the middle so i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial if you found it helpful definitely go ahead and give it a thumbs up so that i know you liked it and if you did not like it give it a thumbs down so that i am aware as well um, definitely do not forget to check out rosie's uh, video that i will link for you guys below uh, you won't regret it i'm telling you she is so amazing um, so yeah this is it for this week's uh, video you guys check me out on instagram or on facebook all of my socials are at janie's sweets if you click on this annotation to your left you will be directed to my last video subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss out on any of my future videos so that's it you guys i love you i'll talk to you next time